G'day everybody, Narelle here. How you doing? Out at a little spot called Dramana on the Mornington Peninsula, about an hour and a half from Melbourne. Actually, probably about an hour from Melbourne uh, these days with the, the new freeway. And this is a spot I've been coming to for probably uh, 45 years, um, ever since I was little. Down here for a few days, uh, it is spring, um, it is a beautiful day today. And uh, we're down here for a few days with the family before my husband and I head off to Vietnam. And so I thought we'd take you out, uh, have a look at uh, a place we went to the other day called the Enchanted Maze. Now I haven't been there for probably 20 years and when I first went there it had just opened. And uh, it has come a long way since then. So we're gonna take you out there to show you around and uh, check out the things that we did. Let's go. So the Enchanted Maze is good for any ages, from littlies all the way up to the elderly. There is plenty to do here for everyone. Uh, general admission into the park is $30 for adults and $20 for children between 3 and 17, and under 3 is free. The tree surfing, which is what we did for the day, is a little bit more expensive. $60 for children and $70 for adults which sounds a bit expensive, but it was really well worth it. It was, it was a really excellent day. And we actually went in the afternoon and we wish we had have gone earlier on in the day um, because we didn't realize that the entrance fee was for the whole park. So we wish we had have gone earlier on in the day. Um, the tree surfing took about two hours. Um, you need to be moderately fit to do it. I mean, I'm not the fittest person in the world and I was absolutely exhausted at the end of it. But, you know, if you are pretty good fitness level, you shouldn't have any problems. I'm not the greatest at heights either. And once you get the hang of it and you feel secure, it's actually not too bad. By the time I got to about the third um, course, I was not scared at all. The first one, yeah, pretty petrified. But once you get through the first one, second one, you're pretty good to go. Okay, so there's also a tree surfing for nippers, which is a smaller course for younger children. It's about $30 a child, $40 for adults, and it's really just a smaller version of what you're seeing here that we went on, and it's a lot closer to the ground, and it's more, it's very enclosed. Um, so if you've got an adventurous little uh, little tacker, they will um, really, really enjoy it. So yeah, I. The little nipper little course looked really good as well. So your admission price also includes the climbing wall, as you can see here, and the jump, uh, leap of faith, uh, little jump there that you do into the Tarzan ropes. We also did the giant zip line, which was, I think, uh, included in the $70. Uh, look, it was a bit of fun. It was a flying fox, about a 200 meter flying fox over there's a big lake in the in the park. It was a bit of fun, but if you wanted to save yourself probably about 45 minutes to an hour, um, you could not not include that part of the uh, adventure. We thoroughly enjoyed our day at the Enchanted Maze, and I highly recommend you get out there with your family next time you're in Melbourne. Go early, make a day of it. We ran out of time. There are lots of mazes to explore. There's some beautiful artwork and sculptures and there's also bumper tube rides which we just ran out of time because we went later on in the day. There's also a tree top walk which we also only got to really rush through. So we definitely recommend that you go early in the day so that you can make the most out of this beautiful place. We thoroughly enjoyed our day at the Enchanted Maze in Melbourne, Victoria. Get out there with the family. You will thoroughly enjoy it and have a fantastic day. Go early so you can make the most of it. 
We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.